O Canada Conversations are a creation of IOM, made available under the Creative Commons 3.0 IGO. Please refer to the text of the audiobook for the copyright mark and the full legal code. Funded by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Financé par Immigration, Refugees et Citoyenneté Canada. O Canada Conversations, Dialogue Number 29. People with Disabilities. The following dialogue is related to Unit 1, Overview of Canada, from the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. For more information, refer to the following units of the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. 1.10. People with Disabilities. 1.11. Interacting with People with Disabilities in Canada. In this dialogue. Obasi talks with his son Michael about his experience as a student with a disability using a wheelchair. They talk about how people with disabilities are respected and treated in Canada. How was school today, son? It was good. It is getting easier to adapt to this new school. Can you help me get into my wheelchair? Sure. Let me help you. Hmm? There. Are you comfortable? Yes, thank you. I want to hear more about how the new school is. As you know, when I first enrolled, I thought people would make fun of me for my disability and that it would be hard to make friends. But the students are really nice. They do not ask me annoying questions about my legs or call me abnormal. I am relieved to hear this. Me too. For example, no one touches me or my wheelchair without being asked to. And if I am with the school counselor, they speak directly to me and not just to the counselor. It is nice having teachers and students who see me, not just my disability. That is wonderful. I am glad everyone has been welcoming and respectful. You are sure that nobody has been giving you a hard time? Not on purpose, but sometimes people try to help me without asking if I want their help first. I know they mean well, but I wish they would ask me first instead of assuming I need their help. I can do most things on my own. How have people tried to help? Oh, you know, things like fetching things for me and opening doors. I told the school counselor about my frustration, and she told me to exercise my rights and communicate my needs to the people helping me. That is good advice. You know what else I learned? Did you know that in Canada, one in five people have at least one disability? I did not know that. Some disabilities are visible, but some are not. What do you mean only some are visible? I asked the same question. Some people might have difficulty hearing or speaking, but it is not as visible as me going down the street in a wheelchair. Ah, I never thought about it like that. You are right. I would not know if someone has difficulty hearing just by looking at them. Exactly. Plus, anyone can develop a disability at any point in their life. Some people are born with a disability, but others can develop a disability over time because of an injury, illness, or aging. Do you remember when Grandfather started having trouble seeing? Yes. That was really difficult for him. That would be considered a disability caused by aging. I see. You sure are learning a lot at school. The school counselor also told me that in Canada, people with disabilities have the right to enjoy the same quality of life as every other person. Businesses, schools, organizations and communities work to address the needs of people with disabilities. So there are equal opportunities in employment, education, housing, and other aspects of everyday life. 
I am glad we came to Canada, so you can enjoy those opportunities. Me too. Did you know that businesses make changes to workplaces so that people with disabilities can work there? And the accessible public spaces and public transportation here are common, so I can get around town on my own. Yes, it was reassuring when the government-funded organization explained to me the importance placed on accessibility in Canada and the supports available for families. There are even scholarships and financial support available for students with disabilities for post-secondary studies. I did not know about that. So, when I start applying for university, we can look into those scholarships. That is good. Do you know what you want to study? Not yet. <laughs> I still have time to figure that out. <laughs> you are right. You do not have to decide now. In two years, we can discuss it more seriously. For now, just focus on doing well in your studies. You know I am doing well in my studies. <laughs> yes, I know I do not have to remind you, but I do it anyway. <laughs> End of Dialogue Unit